Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to find out if your Funko Pops are valuable. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do with your Funko Pop is make sure you have the box and the insert for it because if you don't have that, it can actually cut the price of the figure to like 50 to 70%. And this is because a lot of people enjoy having the boxes. Plus, the box kind of makes it brand new. If it's out of box, it might seem like it's, you know, less, it doesn't have as much going on with it. The box is a really nice part of the figure. For example here, like this Dino. And even when you have the box, guys, it tells you what it's limited to, when it came out, certain things like that that you wouldn't get if you had it out of box. You'd have to look all these things up. So it's nice to have the box. And this one here, I know it's not with every box, but this one here is even cooler because this one glows in the dark. So the Funko logo glows, the word Dino glows on the side, the back, um, as well as, I think that's it actually. But anyways, the point is, is that it does glow in the dark and it's a neat box. So you wouldn't want to throw this stuff out because this does add value to the character. Now, if you own a lot of figures like I do and you don't have any of them cataloged or you don't know any of the prices for these figures, I would start with the older ones that are in box and perhaps are exclusive or are just rarer figures that you can't find anymore. A good example of that is one line here. So there is the original Marvel line that came out a long time ago, but some of them from that line say the Captain America, you can sometimes find that in store still where the thing, you cannot find that anywhere. These both came out at the same time, but this one isn't retired and you can find it at, you know, comic book stores and sometimes stores that get in older figures but the thing I haven't seen since maybe 2015 2016 so that's the one you're gonna want to check before this one and if you guys want to know when a certain figure has come out, you can actually check the bottom of the boxes here where it'll either be indented or it'll be a little sticker. But you guys can see here, because of that 19, that means this figure came out in 2019. And that is really helpful when even having the boxes like I had said earlier. If you have that box, you can quickly just flip the figure up to check the bottom to see when it came out. But you can also check the bottom of the foot. It does say the year there as well, but um, it is a little bit easier with being in the box. Now the next thing that you want to do guys is check to see where it was exclusive to. So if it's exclusive to a store or wasn't exclusive to anywhere, it could be a little bit cheaper than if it was exclusive to a convention. So I have an example here of Doug. This one came out, let me check the bottom, in 2016 and this one is worth around $200. Which is a crazy price for a figure, but this is one of those figures that is a lot older and you're not going to be able to find this one anymore because once the convention's over and the stores have sold out, because yes, it is a shared convention exclusive, which means it was shared with the convention as well as a store outside of the convention. This one here is the example was Toy Tokyo, which is a store that sells them online as well as they have one shop in New York City. But this one here, guys, I want to show this as an example. This one here is the Dracula figure. This one came out in 2014, as you guys can see at the bottom there. It does have the 14 at the beginning. But this one here is only worth about $65. Yes, it is worth a little bit more than the average pop, but it's not worth as much as this convention exclusive. And I know this doesn't hold true to every figure where some conventions exclusives from this year probably aren't worth as much as this Doug here. And some of these ones back from 2014 probably are worth way more than Dracula. But this is just one example that I want to show you guys. Now, if you guys are wondering where I'm getting the prices for these figures, because they are very expensive and I'm just throwing around like $65, $200, you guys can actually go to the Funko app as well as Pop Price Guide. Now, both of these websites get their prices from the same places. So the Pop Price Guide actually uses eBay sold listings and takes the average and uses that for their website. But then the Funko app actually takes their prices from the Pop Price Guide and uses those. And they do pretty much update at the same time, but sometimes the Funko app gets them a little bit later than the Pop Price Guide does. So if there is a price that's not in the Funko app, I would recommend going to Pop Price Guide. But if for some reason there are no prices on the Funko app and then there are no prices on Pop Price Guide, you guys can go directly to eBay to find these prices. And how you do it, guys, is if you look on the side, there are a bunch of these filters, but if you scroll down pretty far towards the bottom, there's a filter that says sold. You want to click that one and then it'll show you every single price of figures that have sold on eBay. Because if you guys go onto eBay and the first figure that comes up is a Dracula for $100, you might think, wow, my figure's worth $100. Bucks. But really, that's what the person's asking for and not what somebody has paid for it. So it might look like $100, but if you go to the little sold filter in the corner, it might only be $65. Now, if you're wondering what type of figures won't show up on the Funko app for prices, it's usually newer common figures where you guys can pick these up over at GameStop or order them online for like $10 to $15. But if you really want to know what the prices are, you guys can always go over to eBay sold and check them there. And if you guys want to keep tabs on all of your collection, you guys can actually put them in on Pop Price Guide of the Funko app. I recommend using the Funko app just because it's a lot easier to put them in quickly. You guys can actually scan the barcodes on the bottom and it'll automatically put it into your collection. All right, guys, so I went to go grab my phone so I can show you guys how to catalog your pops on the Funko app. So as soon as you go on, this is what you'll see, the latest additions to the Funko app. So these are the newest figures. And like I said, these ones probably won't have prices because they either aren't out yet, they were just announced, or these are brand new, so nobody's really selling them on eBay yet. 
And they have everything on here as well, guys, not just pops. So if you guys come on here, you guys can even see the Pez's here, um, as well as some of the Pocket Pops and stuff like that. They'll have their Wacky Wobblers, pretty much every single product that Funko has ever made. And if it's not on here, you guys can always email the Funko support email to ask them to put it onto the app. But let me show you guys here how to actually scan these figures in. So if you guys see the three little lines in the top corner, you press on that, and then it'll say, scan product. Now, sometimes it'll keep this little screen up. You just want to press on the left side there where the black is, and it'll actually go away. So now it shows, there's you guys right there, but it'll show your camera, and then you go in. So say we're going to use Dracula again, and you find the barcode, and you put the barcode in the square, and then it shows it is worth $65 USD. And then once you've done that, guys, you can just click add to your collection, and then you'll keep it in your collection where you guys can view it and watch the price go up and down. And the Funko app doesn't just tell you how much the figure is worth. It'll also tell you when it was released, if it is vaulted. And vaulted, by the way, means they're not creating this figure anymore. So it's out of production. You can't buy it anymore in stores unless it's like an older figure or, you know, you find it on eBay. And that's usually where it gets more expensive. So you guys can see their status. This one is vaulted. The product type is pop vinyl. And then you guys can also see there's more universal characters as well. And if I click on that, it'll probably show, yes, the rest of the Universal Monsters figures that Funko has created. I think this app is really useful because it is created by the company. They can literally take every single bit of information that they know about each character and categorize it in this app. And if you guys are back on the home screen here and you guys want to find out where your collection was after you just scanned it in and added it to your collection, you go to lists and then you click on collection. So you guys can see here, this is my collection. It is actually almost worth $41,000. So it has gone up a little bit. And then you guys can see the different figures and how much they're valued at. You can also filter them by high to low. You can go from newest or oldest. Let's actually go to oldest and see what the first one was that I added to the collection. It was, I don't even know what it could be. Okay, guys, so the first character I ever added to the Funko app was Georgie Denborough holding boat. It's only worth $8, but it is a really great figure. Now, I also want to mention that you can go to the pop price guide and do the same thing, but it's not as easy because you can't actually scan in the figures with the barcode. So I think the Funko app is a lot easier for if you have a lot of characters, um, but it is nice to also maybe do both so you guys can see the different values because they are sometimes a little bit different, but not too far off. But I will say, guys, there's one thing that I really enjoy about the Pop Price Guide is that they actually separate the convention stickers versus the shared stickers. So, for example, here with the Doug, this one is the shared sticker, so it might be worth a little bit less than what the convention sticker is worth. So it's nice to know if you have either or. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today. But before we go, let me know in the comment section below what is your most expensive figure that you scanned into the app after learning about this. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.